Hello everyone, it's the Flying Bear here and welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to talk about Alexandra Trusova's departure from Sambo 70 to join the Angels of Toshenko and see if it was a good decision, after all. Alexandra Trusova left Eteri to Beridze, Sergei Dudakov and Daniel Blake in Kaos on May 6th and started training under Prushenko at the summer camp in Kislovatsk. She said, Sometimes, there's a moment in your life when you need to take an important step. You need to do that to move forward and conquer new peaks. It's not always an easy decision, but if you've carefully weighed the pros and cons, you need to move forward bravely so that nothing can stop you. She added that she was very grateful to all of her past coaches, including Eteri, to which she brought a bouquet of her favorite flowers. So first, let's look at why Alexandra left Eteri. In an interview, Trusova said that it is normal to change coach and take the best among them. This is very consistent with her goal of becoming an Olympic champion, but also very consistent with her history. Indeed, Trusova began skating in 2008 in the Ryazan under Olga Shevtsova. She then moved to Moscow to train under Alexander Volkov, which she left with all of her triple jumps. She went to Eteri to Beridze in 2016 because of newly crowned world champion Evgenia Medvedeva. But it seems that her move to Vlushenko was thought about for a long time. According to Vlushenko, she wanted to transfer two years ago, but he told her dad that his camp was not well established yet and they needed to think further. Since 2020, however, the angels of Vlushenko seem well established with young specialists training alongside Plushenko, who decreased drastically his appearances in shows to concentrate on coaching. He says, however, that the ring they are now renting is temporary and he plans to build two rings in Moscow and the Moscow region. The first years under Eteri were very successful for Trusova. She won two World Junior Championships back to back and set multiple world records, landing several quadruple jumps. Last year, she turned senior alongside teammates Anna Sherbakova and Alyona Kostornaya. After a good beginning to her season, her consistency went downhill and she couldn't seem to skate clean. She thus thought about training with other specialists. In an interview, she said that she wanted to work with a specialist who himself jumped quads during his competitive career, such as Plushenka. As a result of those inconsistent programs, Trusova got third to Anna and Aliona in every competition they went against each other. In an interview, Alexander Julin stated that her departure was not unexpected. At Sambo 70, she was third. She would even be fourth with the arrival in seniors of Kamira Valieva but at the Angels of Plushenko, she would be first. We all know that at Sambo 70, you are either winner or you fall behind and lose all attention from the coaches. Former student Polina Shabotova said that once Tukberite was disinterested from her, she was moved to the junior group and wasn't even allowed to compete. I don't think that Trusova would have been moved to the junior group or prevented from competing, but those girls even though friendly, are very competitive. And especially Alexandra, who always wanted to jump more. She says that Tudbury did stopped her. She had to ask several times to start training the triple axel, which she tried for the first time in 2016. Her goal is, and was, to do five quads in the free and a triple axel in the short, where her coaches wanted her to do less. Jumps are her forte. That is how she could distinguish herself from Anna and Aliona. But she was held back, and with sacrificed artistry, as described by Plushenko, she fell behind her teammates. The Tutberiti camp claimed that Plushenko lured Trusova financially. This claim was denied by Plushenko himself in an interview. However, in another interview, he stated he believed Evgenia Medvedeva and Alina Zagitova were underpaid 
and that skaters of the caliber should receive much more money for exhibition shows. It is well known that Pushenko's wife, Yana Rodkovskaya, is a millionaire businesswoman with lots of relations. And with Kostanaya allegedly moving to Pushenko to be provided with more endorsement opportunities, it is safe to say that Trusova could benefit from Pushenko and Rodkovskaya's knowledge and relations. Indeed, not long after moving, she became the ambassador of Aminovito, a sports nutrition brand, and she recently announced the release of an autobiography. In fact, every angel seems to benefit from the couple's relations, as most of them have at least one sponsor. Sergei Rosanov and Alexandra Trusova's departure from Sambo 70 were announced at the same time. Many people thought she left to continue training under him at the Angels of Poshenko, or that she would train under former coach Alexander Volkov. But it seems that Trusova mainly trains with Poshenko himself and his assistant Dmitry Mikhailov, with Rosanov mainly working with Kostanaya. It seems that the rivalry between Trusova and Kostanaya led them to train under different coaches. But even though Trusova doesn't train with Rosanov anymore, his decision to move might have encouraged her to transition. So, with all of those reasons in mind for her to leave, was it a good decision to transfer? Let's look at it point by point. 1. Technique Even with self-isolation and growth, Alexandra didn't lose her chumps. Prushenko's goal was even to better them, not to jump so much with force and to group more quickly. In her training and competition videos, we can see that she jumps more with her legs, which make her jumps higher and more pleasant to watch. The difference in technique is particularly visible in her toe loop. She seems to have more height and distance in her quads, but also a clearer edge and less pre-rotation on the lutes, even though the flip still tends to have a flat edge and her triple axel is better than before, even though not very consistent yet. She said that she works even more with Lushenko. She especially seems to do more varied work, especially of ice where they do elaborate circuits. In an interview, she stated, I have regular training session, and in addition, I have individual training. We even tried pair skating with my coach Dmitry Mikhailov. 2. Artistry Trusova's lack of artistry and skating skills has been one of the main discussions for years. But she is now aware that she needs to work on it and seems interested in improving. She said, I have been working hard on my skating skills, trying to improve aspects of my programs. She is now working with Ilenich and Mikhailov, who help her with her hands, posture and choreography. It also seems that she has more of ice ballet. I have to say, I see a real improvement, especially in the short. I think the dress, the music and the choreography help her to try harder. She couldn't realistically improve with the music and programs she had before. With her new dress, she looks more sophisticated and mature. I think the improvement is less apparent in the long, which is normal because it requires more endurance for the jumps but I think she's on the right track. Some people were saying they didn't see any improvement, which I think is not true, but of course it is a process that takes time, usually a lot more than getting a jump, especially for her. But the main thing is that they are now invested in improving and do not disregard it like they used to at Sambo 70. 3. Plushenko's character Trusova seems to have a good relationship with Pushenko. He stated that they are very similar in character, and he also seems very invested in her. Many people think that Trusova shouldn't have transferred to Pushenko because he doesn't have much experience as a coach, but that doesn't mean he will be good or bad. Another critic was his lack of commitment. Former student Serafima Sakhanovich said that Pushenko was never in the ring and only came once or twice a week. As discussed in the beginning of the video, it seems that everything is now well established and Plushenko is ready to commit as a coach. 
He even recently started training himself his son Sasha Plushenko, who was previously training under another coach. The worst critic towards Plushenko, however, concerns his comments towards former students Anastasia Tarakanova and Serafima Sakhanovic when they left his rink. Comments such as lazy, too emotional or faking injuries were stated by the coach. And while I absolutely don't condone it and think Plushenko shouldn't have said that, he is not the only one that goes too far when his students leave. 4. Political Repercussions by living renowned and beloved coach Eteri Tokberidze, will Alexandra Trusova lose her bonus points? Well, probably. While these are difficult to prove, a lot of people agree that certain skaters get inflated scores and others don't. At her last competition, the second stage of the Cup of Russia, Trusova clearly got less inflated scores than former teammate Kamila Valieva. In the short program, for example, where Trusova improved her skating skills in artistry, she got around the same score as she was used to in previous seasons, while Valieva got 10 points more in total in the short. So I think this move might affect her scores a little bit, but if she can continue to improve and skate clean programs, she's capable of winning. 5. Rivalries as Kostanaya moved a few weeks after her, rumors were that Trusova was pissed because she wanted to stay the only star at Plushenko's Angels. But it seems that they are training in two different groups, at different times, and with different coaches. So even if there's a rivalry there, they won't see each other much and skate at the same time like they were under Tutberidze. So, what do you think? Was it a good decision for Trusova to move to Plushenko? For my part, I think it was a good decision for her to move. Plushenko seems very invested in her and in improving both her jumps and artistry. I also think it will be good for her to have a different coaching view. Of course, there's still a lot she needs to work on, but she's on the right track. Now, will the investment level be maintained? Will she suffer politically? we'll see in the next competitions and during the season. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't hesitate to like, comment down below what your opinion is and what you want to see next. Bye!